Good evening and welcome back to the crust where I think we should plug these machines in here. Um, we do want to make some rovers and things, but we don't need any rovers until we get the MDR. And we can't get an MDR until we get control units, and we can't get control units until we build these. So yeah. So shall we plug these in? Shall we plug these in? Um you're gonna be uh that one composite frame that's the two yeah too many there so okay so this requires much the frames aluminium and pressing and i've I need to move these back i think here Yep, I probably need to move these back here. Now, none of these are currently working or doing what they're doing because they need stuff that we just don't have at the moment. Um, now, these are running, which is fine. These are not running because they need mug presses. Mug presses are not running because they need rare of metals, which is a bit of a pain shame. Uh, we can, there is an alternate recipe for mug presses that doesn't use rare of metals, but uses more silicon. Which is tempting to switch to. Unfortunately, uh, these are huge. Uh, in comparison so it's very difficult to like replace those with the rare with, with those uh we kind of i mean it's it's doable it is it is kind of doable um we have to like put it here and then run belt underground other belts but um it is, it is sort of doable if we was to put it in here and have three lines come down so we could replace these with a uh non microprocessor but not a rare of metal versions so, but um, I think we want to get an MDR and just scan and try and dig up the uh, the ones above. So, okay. So we need uh, three belts coming in here. How do I want to do this? Uh, we're going to have to... So... Like that and like that so we're gonna have to do this okay you come up put in there you come up put in there you come up put in there yep okay and then what do we need what do we need and where do we need it uh, so this one's uh modular terminals which are being made here So this has to come up. And back along. Do you need you don't need much? Time. Okay, so let's get rid of that. And we're gonna run you up here. And do that. Okay, motor terminals done. Build all, and you want to prioritize going up instead of down to the. Uh, so this one goes down to here, doesn't it? No, that comes up to there. So that's fine. So that's bits. And then you go up to there, and then afterwards you will go back to the the the, um, the storage upstairs. The next one is this stuff, which is this line here. Nice and easy. We just plug that one in like so. Build and you will prioritize the bottom one. Uh, and then the last one is the processing units, which is the top belt there. Oh. Build and prioritize that one there. Reset that. Awesome. There you go. Put on. Plugged in. Nice. Awesome. Uh, I'm really not sure how I'm going to do power to these things, so. Hmm. Uh, plus also, uh, these need to be stored and got upstairs, and I've just realized I haven't left enough space for that at all. There's no space here to run belts out uh, and go upstairs, although it doesn't matter because um, uh, we need to put another elevator in upstairs as well, don't we? So here. So we need an elevator here, um, somewhere, and they can connect to that. So they're going to just like sort of 
well they can't come out here and go that way because that's there although this is not going to be you know that is going to be a sort of unused all the time this one's not we could come down and run along underneath here which would work for us because then the elevator would be here which is there so that's where i think that's going to go but right now we're okay we're okay for they can just store internally so that's not a problem um you what do you want you want you want the same let's do the same uh so let's plug that in there you will come up to there and split to there you will come up to there and split to there and you will come up to there and split to there build and i should prioritize the uh Sort of ones there, so they always get their ones first. But on, so you're going to get your resources. That's fine. Uh, you want nanotubes for the first one. Nanotubes are there. They're this bottom line here. Oop. Uh, you want dura aluminium, which I'm never going to pronounce correctly, and you want titanium. Was weird. We shot me the wrong, the wrong. Uh... Now that's interesting. <laughs> if you mash over it with a belt in your hand, it resets to its default uh, uh, thing. But yeah, okay. So you want titanium plates as well. Titanium plates are like right back here somewhere. Yeah. Do 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 do. do. Oop. This is Italian plates here. You prioritize up. You prioritize up. You prioritize up. What are we taking that away from? We're taking that away from uh, uh, the modular frames. We're okay. We're okay because I think we've got enough um, tenium packs coming in to deal with that. So that's not going to be a major problem. Uh, uh, so yeah. Okay. So this just needs your, uh, this stuff. Um, which is reliant on rare earth metals, which we don't have. We could buy some in and kickstart the whole process. Get that going. The problem is you now won't accept any inputs. Um, <laughs> uh, it's not like I can now put... Well, actually, we can dump it in there because this one's the only one that's still on the main main sort of bus so um let's see about buying some in shall we let's see about buying some um rare earth metals in uh there's 675 a go and it is a thousand five hundred not sure how many you need to make One to one, so it's, yeah, okay. So it's better to buy the uh, rare earth metals. Let's uh, a hundred rare metals fills up a cargo pod. Let's buy that. Other components sat there. Ah. You outside one should be allowed to be drop off. Guess I messed that up slightly. Let's allow the outside ones to be drop off. 
And the inside ones will be um, the pickups. So if we get any stuff just on the floor, we can just dump it in there for whatever reason. So that's fine. Uh, let's um, wire this up. It doesn't really matter which way I wire it up because all the places are filtered. So they know. And then I've got to turn on this again here. All the bots are filtered to the correct thing, so the outputs will know which way, when, where, and how to do what, when, where, and how. So that's cool. There you go, bump. So we've got some uh, nanotubes sat in here, which is quite nice. Got some microprocessors. We've got no aluminium there. <laughs> Yes, they dumped it in this box here by the looks of it. Awesome, so it came back into the system. Cool. Okay. Okay. Um, a little bit up here to allow to be put into here um, and to be even picked up from here. So I could re-enable um, allowing these to be fed by the system. What I really would have liked is, uh, much we've, we've got it set up like that, but the problem is that because we didn't have the infrastructure put in place, the rare earth metals came along, didn't fill these because they and then just went upstairs because, yeah. Kind of why I like having the storages in line with stuff because then you use all the products for your processing, and then when your processing is full, it backs up, rather than having them all sat up here in boxes, not doing a lot. So. But you could absolutely have them come up to boxes here and then just have um, lifts going back down again. That's completely doable. You could have lifts coming up, going to these guys and then come back down again and then it will back up to here. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, right. So this is all good here. What's happened here? You are, you are full. That's for our usage and it drop off and pick up. That's not drop off there. Oh yeah, we don't want this to be drop off. No, we don't want this to be pick up. If I was to enable, I mean, to answer that, we don't need these. We don't need these here anymore. Because everything will then go upstairs, won't it? So yeah, we don't we don't need these anymore. Let's be honest. Um everything just got upstairs. Run along, plug into these things. Um, see, um, yeah. see components as well. Components are struggling. Why are components struggling? It's because I don't think we have enough. I think it's as simple as that. We don't have enough being produced. But that's okay. That's okay. So pr production is easy to fix. We can expand production. The problem is getting actual materials in. So we very much need to get ourselves an MDR and start mining rare metals. And then building a cargo dock, coming back, dropping off all the stuff. here this side of it and just pumping well well actually rare earth metals will be down here wouldn't it so the cargo dock can sort of go in there and then it can go up to some elevators which will be here and uh down to some elevators which will be over here for this one so yeah urgent contract available um I accept for 300,000. I absolutely 100% accept. That looks good. Um, yeah, okay. Okay, 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 right, let's, um, what do we need to build this? We need composites and we need control units. Now, we can also make the, uh, the, 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 dur duralumin. Uh, we can also make this with the, uh, iron, silicon and titanium ore, which gets rid of the rare earth metals completely from that. 
Um, but we don't have the ore coming in either, so that's not really a major option for us. We can turn some things on and do some stuff, and I don't have any micro circuits, I so know. Um, I think switching micro circuits over to silicon might not be a bad idea, but we don't have a great deal of silicon. See, we've got some stored here. Like in our in our own little boxes. Um Which I should again I should get rid of and just that should all get moved upstairs and then the bots can just go upstairs, grab things and come back down again. I've kind of I've 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 done a halfway of one thing and a halfway of another thing for storage. So I should either choose to have the storage below ground and have the bots just go up up with it or have it above ground and uh, go that way. I, I, yeah, I just haven't... I haven't... Um, truly focused on one thing over the other, which is uh, a bad way of doing it. No breath metals on that side because there's no mind on that side. Uh, right up here, anything up here? Don't know if we've actually scanned up here. There's a couple there. Get rid of those. Might not have scanned up here. Oh, there's loads here. And some there as well. Some there as well. Right, uh, research complete. We'll go research now. Where are we? Where are we? Right, let's go with this one here. This one's always lagging behind. Um, okay. We're just basically hoping we can fill up on stock, but I need to get, yeah, let's, let's, can we buy some control units? Okay, let's buy in, um, what about composites as well? Uh, how much are control units? Let's see, let's see, control units are expensive. They should be under 20,000, so we're not buying those. Composites, I don't know, because I'm not really sure what price I want to be paying for them. About seven grand? We'll hold off for a day or two and see how stuff is moving around. Um, so yeah, because these are never going to get anything. They're not powered either. Let's actually power them up, shall we? Um, You've got 30,000 iron here. I'm going to speed you up. <laughs> Won't be a problem at all there. That's fine. How much have you got here? 7,400. Uh... I think we're trying to most mostly do titanium and silicon are the two like biggest things you need like ridiculous things you need so yeah okay okay um so what if we did switch these over to be Uh, the, only, the only drawback the only drawback to that is that um instead of having the ability to upgrade these to make them faster uh the high-tech factories don't have that so they always run at the lower speed um do 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 oh i should have brought them at seven thousand three <laughs> Oh well, oh well. It's a shame you can't put in buy orders. Go, I'd like to buy it, but at this price. I don't, why is that line backed up? What's wrong with this? It just literally can't go any further because this is completely full. <laughs>
I need to get rid of some slag as well. Um, although we are moving the slag over to here to keep stuff moving, but it's not fantastic. If I'm honest. Um, yeah. You're running. Awesome research, more complete. Awesome, the RTG update. We haven't got that unlocked there. Um, I don't know if I should change these over or not. I cannot make a decision whether I should change these over or not. Um, uh, the the alternate pattern for them uh, requires uh, sorry for these modules. Uh, circuits, carbon fiber, and aluminium. Now, carbon fiber is okay. doing okay they're all running so yeah it's doing okay um silicon we're okay for and aluminium we're okay for so switch over to them probably makes more sense on the moon uh, no switch over to them probably makes more sense just to um get the micro circuits going and not not just get the micro circuits going but then the um uh rare earth metals can go off to make the because um the other recipe for this one um is the the ores just the ores on their own and we don't have them ores we do not have we're processing them all instantly into stuff to get stuff going so can we complete the winter change stock yet uh, you want more carbon fiber so i can send the carbon fiber but we don't have any of those, so no. <laughs> yeah, I kind I kind of need these here because we need um we need to hold on to them for building and stuff like that. Although now we're built, we've built everything. Well, we need to build, expand these things, but we have we have everything kind of established and built. We just need to do some more things on top of it. Um, can you spend it speed up? Um, not really because you're going to run out of space here, but I just need to get you out of the way. You need to be gone. Uh, and this, what's this one? This is oh, ice going up to the things there, but that's not going to work because these are not running because of the snag. Okay, okay. It's it's a case of I need to leave things. I need to leave things just running for a bit and see how they go. Um, let me see if it's possible to get one of these machines in here and actually build it in a way. So we know uh, you can build them like that. So that's that's got three gap there. So that's the closest I can have them coming in. Um, which would involve having the output go to the side but I have to run belts underneath them. Because, um, yeah, you can flip them around. We don't need to flip them around. It's not a major problem. Uh, yeah, so they have to sit here. Um, and then the belts would have to come in and go underneath. On the very right hand side they go up the right hand side actually under the factory and then up again i think that's that's let's do that so let's do this can we build these do we have the stuff to build these module terminals uh we have 28 so we can build a couple of these yeah okay so cut off that one cut off that one and that's it Uh, I'm going to also get rid of all of that. All of this. Get rid of that. Urgent contract available on the moon. No. Uh, get rid of that and that. We want that line left there. They can pick up all the goods and take them wherever they want to take them to. That's not a problem. 
let's put the high-tech factory in so it has to go here but it wants to go down there we put one there and then we just need to go down by one uh there there and repeat and repeat um and then we just go underground belt up um uh, no 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 we need a two gap between them we need a two gap between them one two one two of course they do of course they do so the underground belt comes up pops up there goes up pops up there goes up pops up there And then we just do the same here. So we come down um, and you go to there and you go to there. So the bind comes down, comes down, comes down. Doop, doop, doop. And uh, I don't know how far down that needs to go, that one. Doop. Bomb, bomb, and uh, bomb, like that. There we go. Okay, so um, build up. Uh, you are going to be doing uh, microchips, microchips, microchips. So what order do they need to be in? So the first one needs to be aluminium. Where is our aluminium? Is that our aluminium? I think that's our aluminium, isn't it? Yep. This line here is aluminium. Okay. Doop. Next one is silicon, which is here. Oop, and the last one is <laughs> carbon fiber. I love the way that that's uh which is there. That as far as that goes let's remove that and find out it is indeed you connect to that one no nope nope you will connect to that one and you will connect to that one there Build all, prioritize down, prioritize down, prioritize down. And let's see whether I've got them all in the right places. I think I have because the belts start moving. They won't stop. Well, they will move. They move up to here. Uh, oh, and then I want to prioritize uh, the first manufactory, of course. And I really should have actually thought about the belts and uh, done the outside belt to be the closest one so you know the uh the one that's furthest away is the closest to us not that it matters it's ended up three tiles it's not actually that yeah that really wouldn't make any difference oh i've shut down the entire factory uh oops i forgot that was all powered by one single plant You do that one and this one, and you do that one and the one below it. Okay. We have the power now. The power is running. Awesome. You're producing micro circuits. Okay, we can't upgrade these, which is a shame. So they're only going to run at the 15%, but that's okay because pretty much everything is. There's only a couple that run above that because of 
uh, upgrades and things they can get. So, like um, uh, the component shop runs at twenty percent because it's. I think we need we need more components as well. Okay, so we're switching over to this here. We'll see how this goes. Um, I think that means this one will at least be running all the time because we're definitely producing enough to keep this one going. The other ones, maybe not, but that just involves us expanding up and it means it's saving our rare of metals which can now go and make the Duraluminum, um, Duralumin, uh, so we can actually start getting that in and that will do the thing there. We don't need Duralumin to actually um, uh, to be stored for us, not, not down here we don't. So I'm thinking of getting rid of that because we're spent, although I don't know, we're using it for something. Um, yeah, because it's not, that might be the first one we've ever made. <laughs> okay, so we're going to leave this one here. We will come back next time. We will carry on from there and hopefully everything can make a bit more sense and um well not more sense everything can just start running which would be quite nice and hopefully we can get some of these guys in um some of these things in in order to start building this which would be very nice very nice indeed so thank you very much for watching everybody i hope you have enjoyed this one and i hope to see you again in the next one and until then as always have fun